This is Tad's Tips on Tuesday. We're always working on a path of our golf club. For those of you that understand the golf swing, we always are trying to, most of the time, swing the golf club from inside out. The problem a lot of us do is, when we try to swing it inside out, we take it inside and then swing it out. Once you get inside though, you get stuck with your right elbow and the only thing you can do to get back to the ball is come over the top. So a lot of you that have struggled with swinging it over the top, keep swinging it further and further inside with no better results. The golf swing is actually a two swing plane. We're gonna take it straight back and it's just gonna drop a little bit and come through. A good drill to work on your takeaway, get about a foot from the a wall, garage door, anything that's not breakable, okay? And what we work on, taking the golf club back and up. Back, up, and then feel it as we start to come down, hit the door. That will change the plane as long as we go back, up. And to do that, see how my shoulder drops, my hands drop, back, up, there, out. Just work it to right there. The more you work with taking that golf club straight back, feeling it fall a little bit behind you, swing out to there, you'll change your swing path. If your trouble's going over the top and you change your swing path, this will improve your game immensely. This is something the hardest thing to do, but working on drills will get you better. Also, taking lessons will get you better. We have three great instructors here. Myself, Tad Holloway, Jeff Borders, and Jonas Bickness. Take advantage of the Timberstone Performance Center for our fitter, Craig Grudig, who's number one in the state, top 100 in, in the United States by Golf Digest. This is Tad from Timberstone, 208-639-6900.